Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to solve lead code problem 1128 number of equivalent domino pairs. Before we go through the description and examples, I want to mention that my channel is dedicated to help people uh, in their Java interviews and their coding interviews. Uh, on my channel, there are more than 200 solved examples explained with uh, Java code and those were taken by like a previous interviews asked in many big tech companies like Amazon, Apple, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Yahoo and many others and those problems consist of different varieties such as dynamic programming, graph related problems, binary search trees, binary search, linked list, string related interview questions and optimization problems which are very important uh, with respect to the uh, you know like coding interviews. So if you are preparing for coding interviews, Java interviews or simply learning Java, please subscribe to the channel. This channel can definitely help you in your uh, job interview preparation. So please subscribe. So let's go and let's take a look at the problem uh, statement. Given a list of dominoes, dominoes i is equal to ab is equivalent to dominoes j is equal to cd if and only if a is equal to c and b is equal to d or a is equal to d and b is equal to c that is one domino can be rotated to be equal to another domino return number of pairs ij for which 0 is less than equal to i is less than j is less than domino's length and domino's i is equivalent to domino's j so uh, what the problem statement says is if we have for example if we have domino pairs like this right so here domino first value is 1 second value is 2 and in the second one uh, second value is 2 and first value is 1 right so these both pairs are equivalent uh, because this one is match uh, uh, sorry so let me just change the color so this this first one is matching with the second one right and the second one is matching with the first one so they are equivalent similarly uh, if there is another domino let's say which has uh, just like a one here and here another domino is here which is also two here right so these two also will be equivalent because this first one is matching this and second one is matching this right uh, so this case it will have one comma two right as the values for domino pair so this is what the problem uh, statement says right so they will be equivalent uh, if a is equal to c and b is equal to d or a is equal to d and b is equal to c so that is what it means so these two pairs are also equivalent and these two pairs are also equivalent right and if they don't match then they are not equivalent so we have to find out how many pairs are there which are equivalent right so if you look at the first given example here then you can see that this first pair and the second pair they both are equivalent right because if, if you like here one is here two is second here and two is first here so they match uh, like they are equivalent and they form a pair so we have to return one here right so uh, let's take one example over here and uh, we can discuss you know how we can solve this problem so um so <clears throat> let's just first uh, understand you know uh, what the problem is saying basically asking us to do right so in this case uh, as you can see this first one this second one and this third one right these are th these three are equivalent dominoes and how many pairs they will form so this is one pair we can form right this one is second pair we can form and this one is the third pair we can form so total three pairs we can form with this equivalent domino so we have to return three as our answer in this case right um, so in the other case like in the second one this domino this domino like this these four dominoes are equivalent to each other right these four are equivalent so as you can see this is one uh, pair we can form this one is another pair we can form then this one is another pair so these are three pairs right and then um, uh, so let's do like this so we'll start from one so this one pair is done this second pair this is third pair right then this one is fourth pair this one is the fifth pair and this one is the sixth pair right so total pair we can form is six so we have to return six so this is what the problem is so we have to find out how, how many domino pairs are there in the given uh, input domino array right so um, we are going to solve this problem with the help of hash map right so what we will do is we will iterate through these dominoes and uh, 
so let's take the second example right so i i will just explain you how uh, how this will work so let me just move this little bit here and we'll go back here so when we are like our hash map will the key will be list right this uh, basically this uh, array will be the key that is given to us right so as you can see the um, given value dominoes is the array so we will create a map here and map is holding list of integer and integer right so this list will be in the map so we will put that into the map so let me create one hash map here so this is a sample map right and we will just put one comma two pair here in the map this is the key right one comma two is the key and its occurrence is one right its occurrence is one once we see it we will put this entry into the map now we are seeing the second one here right so second one we will check if there is already an uh, existing entry there then we will uh, put one count variable right of the count of the pairs right so first it is zero so we will uh, get the value from the map of this one comma two which is existing right and we will just increment that count right so one uh, it will become one here and here also we will make a increment that we have seen one comma two two times basically right now we will get, go and we will take one comma one so we we will make one comma one entry here into our hash map and it we will say that we have seen it one time right so frequency of occurrence basically is the value now again we are seeing one comma two so we will again uh, check into the hash map with the key one comma two so we find out the key as a two value so we will add that value into the existing this value right so one plus two is becoming three now one plus two becomes three and we will increment this count also by one so we will make the count three because we have seen one comma two three times at this point right now again when we move here we are again seeing one comma two so we will again check into the hash map again we will find out the entry with the value three so we will add three into this existing three right so three plus three is equal to six so six pairs we have found and here we will make additional entry as now it is four right three plus one four now we will go and we will have two comma two entry we will put that into our map two comma two right and two comma two is the, the occurrence is one here so we are done we have gone through the whole array so we will just return this count variable which is pairs right in this case as our answer right so total number of pairs is six as i shown you previously in this case so all this one comma two are forming a pair right so they are uh, forming pair with each other so total pairs will be six years so just to make sure uh, you understand so this one is one pair so this one is the second pair with this one right and this one is the third pair again for this uh, one comma two this is the pair which is fifth, fourth pair then this is the pair which is fifth pair and for this one comma two this one is the pair which is sixth pair right so we will return six as the answer let's go and take a look at the implementation the implementation is the same that uh, we have discussed right so first we are going to look through the dominoes and we are going to sort dominoes array right because uh, we want to first sort this array right and after that we will create one variable called as pairs pairs will be zero in the beginning we will create a map here which is a hash map of list of integer comma integer right and then we will go through the dominoes array and we will first create empty list here for uh, every uh, loop right first we create empty list and we will populate that list here right so basically what we are doing is <clears throat> once we go to the uh, go through this one comma two this is an array right so we will form a list of one comma two here basically right and then we will check if that list uh, exists into our map if it does not exist we will just put a list here right otherwise if the list exists you know uh, we will just replace the list with our new list right and then we will just increment number of pairs right map dot gate of list means how many how many times that one comma two for example one comma two appears right so we will just count that as a pair right from the second one basically right uh, for the second one we will start count because only one cannot make a pair right so we have to go and once we hit the second we will form the pair basically right so um, 
uh, that is a implementation at the end we will just return the number of pairs here right that we found so important thing is to create this map and the map is the key for the map we are putting is list of integer right and then integer will be the number of occurrences of that uh, domino pair that occurs right so that's what we are doing um, and we have to you know like uh, whenever we are seeing the second occurrence at that time only we can form the first pair right because one itself cannot pair basically for example what i mean to say just hold on a second let me just remove this so what i mean to say is if we are seeing this one comma two first time right this cannot make a pair by itself right but when we are seeing it second time then we can count this as a pair right when we are seeing this third time then we can count these two as a pair like this pair and this pair basically and this pair right so like this basically so that's what we are doing here so uh, whenever we are finding it more than one times then we are just calculating the pairs here basically right and we are getting the number of occurrences from the map dot get list uh, so that is the logic to solve the you know number of equivalent domino pairs problem uh, so let's go ahead and let's just test it out so this is the second example that i took here so it should give us three as the equivalent dominoes so as you can see we are getting three so we are getting correct answer so uh, i created one other example so it is similar to this example but it has a, one more pair i added here right so let us uh, run this so this one has the one that we explained here right so six pairs we should get here for this example so we'll just run this so we are getting six pairs which is correct answer now pair can be formed in the reverse way right so we will make this one comma two as two comma one and still we will expect the same answer So we are getting correct answer uh, as 6 comma 6. So um, let's just go ahead and take all these test cases that they have given us here. And we'll just um, make our, all these test cases will be passed. So all the test cases are accepted. So we'll just go ahead and submit our solution now. So our solution got accepted by lead code. It is 54% faster and other submissions and 47 faster uh, than memory uh, on the memory side uh, so this is the way uh, we can solve number of equivalent domino pairs problem um, so we have used a hash map and the key is the list of these uh, pairs right so we created a list and then we will map the uh, you know occurrences of how many times that list is occurring right one two three four as you can see in this example 1 2 3 and 4 right 4 also here so like that and uh, we will keep calculating uh, number of pairs from the second occurrence right because second occurrence can make start making pair basically so uh, thanks for watching the video